Hi everybody, this is Angie from TorAngie.com and today we're traveling these streets up and down the hill here in Bluefield, West Virginia. I wanted to show you this beautiful area. There's a lot of pretty houses this direction. Um, it's basically a continuance of a video I did of Washington Street and uh, Jefferson. But this one will be a little bit different and you're going to see me get lost not once but twice. Um, it's been forever, what can I say? And with my camera in my dashboard recording, which is on my phone, I can't use GPS, so I'm trying to go off memory. And I mess up two different times and come out not where I'm expecting to. I even have to do a, a, a turnaround because I did not know where I'd end up. Um, so first off, I went down Cumberland just a little bit. We're going down with and then to College Avenue then back up um, East River Avenue and this is where I first mess up I'm not sure exactly where I thought I was going I thought I was going to Walton I believe or or Maryland but at that moment I ended up taking a right or taking a left taking a right then going up a hill and taking a left and I think that's like the Pearl Street uh, extension possibly anyway I come back out on Cumberland and then I take an immediate right thinking oh okay this is Walton Avenue but I was wrong again it was Boyd and you see that I do a turn in the middle of the road because it's like this is not right I don't know where I'm going so then I come back out on Cumberland again and I finally hit Walton Avenue. So I go down Walton and then I go to college and then I take a left up Maryland and um, that's when I go by uh, John Nash house and I go towards the Elks and I mention the White, uh, White Thorn extension. I don't go to that house down there but I mention it. And uh, then I talk about the houses on Reed and Liberty Street, which they're going to be featured in a different video. I just talk about them because um, I'm in that area. <clears throat> or, well, I mentioned them just a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a separate video just of side streets, and that will include Reed and Liberty and several others that have historic homes on them but I definitely wanted to catch White Thorn, go to the Elks, show you the Elks area, Elks Club area, and the Nash, John Nash, uh, his childhood house. If I'm not mistaken, the his childhood house, this was when he was a little bit older, um, he originally lived off of Bland um, when he was younger, but don't quote me on that, I'm just going off by memory. So we're going to talk about something that I should have probably mentioned in my video that came out a couple days ago on Jefferson Street, but I was too busy starting to talk about Bluefield High School. Um, there is the Jefferson Street Historic District um, that's separate from the Historic District that we're about to go through off of Maryland, um, the, the places that I'll mention a little bit later, but um, there is the Historic District of Jefferson Street and it has all up and down that street plus Vineyard Street which I'll catch in a future video um, tons of historic houses you know they're all a hundred years old or older than a hundred years old old at this point and that helped to make um, all of those in combination with all the other houses helped to make the 250 um, historic homes of Bluefield West Virginia and then there is another section which I've videoed, but I, I don't know what I've mentioned on it, if I, even if it has been released yet. But the Oakhurst area and Bland Street area, that is another historic homes area um, district. So there's several different what they would call districts. Um, for where, 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 we're, where we are driving now, the width and Boyd and the Pearl Street and all that stuff that I goofed up, Walton, it's not actually, um, there could be a little bit closer with Walton, but um, there's not really any historic homes on the width, uh, to my knowledge. Now, I could be wrong. I've been looking 
um, looking online, trying to find some information there, and I didn't find anything. So I just figured, well, I would talk a little bit about the Jefferson Street, even though I did do Jefferson Street on a previous video. But like I said, I was too busy talking about the high school because we were about to go visit the high school when I was driving up Jefferson Street. There's also the uh, inn on Jefferson Street, too. That has some historic value, too. Yeah, it was called the, it's called the Bluefield Inn, but it was known as the Diane, um, Di Diane Lee House, uh, formerly, but it's a huge estate there on Jefferson Street. I should have mentioned it on that other video, and I do apologize. So, while I'm driving, I'm going to talk about a few other things, maybe with some random facts about Bluefield that you all didn't know until we get over to the Maryland Avenue area. Uh, one random fact, of course, you all know Bluefield sets at the base of East River Mountain, but that is, Bluefield still sets at 2,612 feet, um, and that is considered to be one of the uh, highest uh, cities east of the uh, Rocky Mountains, or, um, which, of course, helps to be calling it the air-conditioned city because of how high we are up at 2,600 feet. That's why we never hit 90 degrees, <laughs> or very rarely, which causes those lemonade days that uh, uh, people could be familiar with. Uh, if When it's 90 degrees, we get, no, we get lemonade uh, set up throughout town and the, uh, throughout the city. And they do have a lemonade day festival to uh, uh, celebrate that sometime, uh, usually in August. So I found this little bit of information. Um, it probably should have been mentioned in the first video, but since this area is not too far away, um, there at the bottom where all the churches are, at the bottom of Washington Street, um, the first church in the area was erected there before 1881, and it was known as the... Uh, Antioch Church. It was built on land set aside for a church by H.B. Bailey and was used by Methodists, Baptists, and Christians. Um, and then, of course, later on there were several more churches built. Now, we're going to talk about newspapers real quick because I didn't realize that back in the day they had so many newspapers. But uh, the first newspaper published in Bluefield was the Flat Top Miner. Among the several others published between 1890 and 1900 were the Daily Journal, the Bluefield Telegraph, the Bluefield Journal, the Interstate Advisor, the Bluefield Daily Telegraph, the Labor Advocate, the West Virginia Sentinel, and the Daily Advisor uh, was in 1900. In 1912, um, the Bluefield Evening Courier was established, and then it was uh, followed by the Weekly News, uh, 1914, Bluefield Daily Times, 1915. There were tons, tons of different newspapers for Bluefield uh, back in the early 1900s, or late 1800s and early 1900s. So... I didn't realize that. I just figured I would share that little bit of information while I was looking stuff up to talk about in this video. So, um, that's it. Okay, as we cut up Maryland, there are some really nice uh, houses in this area. There's a couple on Reed Avenue and one on Liberty. Um, just very beautiful houses. I will feature those in a separate video because this video is getting long, but I did want to go up Whitethorn just a second. Look to the left. You'll see a white house as I'm passing by. Um, right as I mentioned it, you were able to see it even with the glare. That is uh, Dr. John Forbes Nash uh, Jr., uh, the house that um, he lived in, and um, he was the Nobel uh, Laureate for Economics, 
1994. This was his childhood home. Um, if you're not familiar, uh, watch the movie A Beautiful Mind. It's based um, based on his well, I'm based on him basically. Um, it's a good movie. Go back down Whitethorn Street and get back on Maryland and head back head up the hill to Cumberland. There was a little road that cut to the left. It's the Whitethorn Extension. Um, there's a beautiful Spanish colonial house down there that um, architect Alex Mahood um, designed and it was uh, built in 1924 for W.A. Bodell who was the owner of the West Virginia Heating and Plumbing Company. Um, he was also the pres president of Acme Motor Company. Um, I didn't catch it in this video, but I wanted to point out the street that you could go down to see it. All right, with just about two minutes left in this video, I figured I would talk about what I found online, and it was the application or registration form uh, to the United States Department of Interior National Park Service the National Register of Historic Places form, registration form. And it is for the Country Club District, which is this area. And I I have, you know, mentioned just a few already, you know, the two on Reed Street. Um, but it goes into much more detail on this registration form. But, and it also talks about Whitethorn Street too, the Whitethorn Extension. Um, but I wanted to talk about uh, Lebanon Street that is close by. It's called the Lily House, and it is the oldest in the area, built in 1916. Um, there are six places in this the Country Club Hill Historic District that uh, were designed by architect Alex Mahood. The Bluefield Country Club, 1420 Lebanon, 2126 Reed, 1408 Lebanon, 1300 White Thorn, White Thorn, and 1430 White White Thorn. So uh, that helped to make this this registration form helped to make this all be approved to um, be part of the historic homes, the part of the 250 historic homes in Bluefield. So I just I thought I would share that. Um, the one, the one, there's a few on Lebanon Street, which is also close by. And like I said, I will be doing a second video, or another one, well not a second, but several videos of the side streets of these uh, roads. And I will catch Lebanon, Reed. Uh, I may come back down Whitethorn and catch that Whitethorn extension. Um, but a few of the other, a few of the other streets too. Okay, now there's a picture up um, here at the end of this video. And it's basically a little map found on the registration papers for the historic houses. Just a map showing all the houses in the Country Club District area uh, that are considered historic and that were added to the to make up the 250 houses in Bluefield. So, uh, yeah, this is Angie from ToriAngie.com. Come to my website, read my blogs, make appointments so I can help you plan your next travel adventure. Talk to you later.